This is the Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by OTC.watch, where investors go to find big data on small companies. That's OTC.watch. Subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. Here's your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm bringing back a returning guest. It's been a little while. Last time they were on the show was back in July of 2022. And I'm talking about Adamera Minerals. They trade on the TSX Venture up in Canada under the ticker symbol ADZ. And they also trade down here in the States on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol DDNFF. With us today is the CEO going to bring us up to speed, Mr. Mark Kalababa. Mark, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Everett. Good to be here. You know, since the last time we talked, I mean, a lot has happened for your company and, and uh, great news on, on that part. You, you guys discovered some high-grade gold. You intercepted. Uh, tell us about the two, two projects you're working on right now and what the results are and what you guys are going to do next. Yeah, you, you bet. Uh, last year was a great year for us. We had a lot, uh, a lot of great things happen. You know, as you, as your listeners know, and as you know, we have spent a lot of time in the last few years developing targets. Last year was one of those years we started testing targets, and we really had uh, a lot in front of us, and we had two, I would call them early stage discoveries. So, you know, something on the lame foot, we hit a high grade zone, four and a half meters of 10.5 grams per ton gold. And, and at Buckhorn, you know, we've got 30 plus targets developed. We, we were able to drill four of them last year. And so far, one of those has come in with a, a pretty good result, where we're getting uh, four grams over two two different zones. And in both cases, we you know we expected deeper mineralization. We hit it quite shallow. So at Lamefoot, we're hitting mineralization between 20 and 30 meters depth, about 100 feet. And uh, at Buckhorn, you know, at Buckhorn, we're at 18. We hit it at 18 meters depth. And in both cases, we're close, to, as I said, to past producers. At Buckhorn, we're only 700 meters from a 1.3 million ounce gold deposit that had an average grade of about 13 grams per ton. Well, tell us about tell us about the two projects right now, especially uh, uh, Buckhorn. You got some great results from that. Where are we going to go from here? What are you guys going to do with that? Yep. So what we had at Buckhorn is certainly uh, more than just a snip of gold in the in the region. It's it, and it's not quite a home run, but what it is, it's something very important to follow up. We're only 700 meters from a known deposit. Uh, we're 18 meters depth. And we have remodeled this, and, and we see a very nice magnetic body that we want to pursue. And the interesting thing is this has never this, this has got very few or, or no drill holes into it. So we've got mm. something really interesting ahead of us. So I assume you're going to do the drill holes probably here in the springtime, and then you'll probably come up with some sort of essays. Is that correct? Yeah, we'll start. We're we're just designing those holes now. So as I mentioned, we remodeled the geophysics and the and the, along with the geochemistry that we've got from the drilling. We're remodeling that. We're trying to figure out where we want to intercept it next. And you know, it takes a bit of time to put that together. We'll have to go back and look at some permits for that, just to make sure everything's covered by our permits. But that's um, we're looking at late spring, maybe early summer for that. You know, I want to change subjects here just for a little bit. Geopolitically, what do you think about gold? We're we're sitting around between 1905 and 1930 an ounce. Do, do you think gold is going to go up here in 2023? And people that are listening to this show, you know, people are, you know, they're all talking about diversification. You know, the market hasn't really been all that great, especially in 2022. People are starting now to look at all other alternatives. Treasury notes are around 4% at, at two years. Your thoughts on gold? Well, my thoughts on gold, you know, if there's going to be a catalyst for us, it's probably the gold price. You know, we've we've got two projects. We've got two, I would call them early stage discoveries. There's quite a disconnect between, you know, the success we're having and the market price. But gold is moving upwards, and I think gold's going to continue to move upwards. And I think it positions us in a very good place because at some point, the market's going to look at gold and say, wow, gold's coming up on $2,000 or whatever that price is. And they're going to, in my mind, start to look for, opportunities like this. 
On the TSX Venture, currently your stock's sitting at six cents a share. That being said, what do you think the catalyst will be going forward here in 2023? You know, we always have a few catalysts. One of them is drill results. We're, we're continuing to drill at our Lamfoot project. And, you know, that's an internal uh, catalyst for us, having good results and developing something that people can say, oh, that's something I like to, uh, I'd like to participate in. And, and the second thing is really the gold price and the market itself. Y- y- you know, if last time the gold peaked out at 1950, well, we've come up, we've hit 1950 already in this current market and the market didn't really wake up to that. But at some point, I really believe the market has to wake up for that. And, and that's our biggest catalyst. The company that we're highlighting here on Stock Day is Atamira Minerals. They trade on the TSX Venture under the ticker symbol ADZ. They also trade on the OTC markets under the ticker symbol DDNFF. If you want to know more about the company, go to their website, ADAMERA.com. Mark, I'm going to give you the last word. What is it that you want my listeners and your stockholders to take away from today's interview? Uh, just that we, you know, we do have two early stage discoveries. In both cases, they're very close to past producers, and I think that's a very strong strategy for us. Uh, this district is known for producing high-grade gold. It's, you know, there's been 8 million ounces produced at an average grade of 15 grams per ton. There's a mill right in the district that's currently on care and maintenance, and, you know, I think that anything that we can discover, there's a place for that gold, that, that ore to go. So, you know, that this is this is a really great opportunity for us, and it's something we've been working hard at developing targets. And now we're at a phase of this exploration uh, where we're actually testing targets and, and drilling. So a very exciting time for, for all of us. I want to appreciate you coming on the show. The only thing I ask, I don't want to have to wait another uh, seven to eight months for you to come back on the show. Hopefully you'll come back within two or three months and give us an update. It's always a pleasure, Everett, coming on, and uh, I thank you very much for that. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by La Jolla Media, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are for educational and research purposes. Stock Day encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional.